We do have a clip that I thought would be appropriate to put up today. Um, it's, it'll take two minutes, and I think you'll find it interesting, but we appreciate it. And let's see if we can do that. You'll turn out the lights, and we'll see if we can do that. Thank you. Uh, so th th these were just extraordinary efforts and acts of mobilization. And uh, the federal government stepped up and was a great partner. And I'm the first one to say it. They left out the good part. Great, great job, fellas. What was the good part? They did a better job on ventilators. No. Andrew had something else to say that was really nice, but we won't go through that. I think they have the rest of that clip. I just thought it was a very good clip. Um, I think it's a tribute to New York. I think it's a tribute to the federal government. And I thought it was nice. So I think they have that now. They can try it. Go ahead. We saved everyone, no. But have we lost anyone because we didn't have a bed, or we didn't have a ventilator, or we didn't have health care staff? No. Uh, the w people we lost are the people we couldn't save. Not for lack of trying, and not for lack of uh, doing everything that we could do as a society, not only as a government and as a health care system. Is this really the time for self-congratulations? Well, I, I will tell you this. What I'm doing is I'm standing up for the men and women that have done such an incredible job. Not for me. For the men and women, admirals, vice president, if I might, but all of the men and women, thousands, tens of thousands of them that built hospitals. You played, and, and what you read earlier was praising you and your well, administration. All I played today was Why Governor Cuomo to do that, sir? saying very positive things about the job the federal government has done. Right. And those people, and those, have now died. And those people have been just absolutely excoriated by some of the fake news, like you, your CNN, your fake news. And let me just tell you, they were excoriated by people like you that don't know any better because you don't have the brains you were born with. You should be praising the people that have done a good job, not doing what you do, even that question. So just so you understand, if we now, didn't so do a job... why now? Not why are you doing I'll tell it, you why, why now. now. Are you ready? Because these people are right now in hospitals. It's dangerous. It's going to a battlefield. And I want these people, I want you. It wasn't about I want you workers, in the sir. Yes, it's, it's, about it's all about office. that. It's, it's about not about me. No, nothing's about me. You, look, you look, you're never going to treat me fairly, many of you. And I understand that. I, I don't even know. I got here with the worst, most unfair press treatment, they say, in the history of the United States for a president. They did say Abraham Lincoln had very bad so treatment, too. Let, let me just tell you. It has your name in it. It talks about Trump remaking the playbook. Well, that's a positive thing, because that's an exercise in how to do it and what to do. And that's good.